All new areas such as green financing will be explored at Singapore Maritime Week. It's aimed at addressing challenges like sustainability and a shrinking talent pool, which are also themes of next week's conference. In the Asia, there's been some pull out of financing on ship financing in the past years. We want to see how in Singapore we can contribute ourselves towards being a maritime finance centre of Asia and work with our shipping companies to be able to provide that green financing. It is a niche area. Uh, as we move towards decarbonisation, we need to have more green finance available. And it's something which we will hope to brainstorm with our industry players. More than 10,000 participants are expected to attend the conference physically and online, which takes place after Singapore reopens its borders to all vaccinated travellers. The conference will also look at the challenges that digitalisation will bring to the sector, such as cybersecurity and the need for a skilled workforce. A refreshed sea transport industry transformation map will also be launched. Industry players say it comes at an inflection point for the sector after weathering a bad decade of poor growth, but proving itself resilient over the two years of the pandemic. The solutions are being crystallised or being in the process of being crystallised. And the industry has the ability to plan for the future. And it is also the time where the climate change has come to fall with COP26. So I believe that this really is the time, the, the next decade is the time for the shipping industry to do something good for climate change.